Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're looking at the sort method of arrays. What we're doing is we're starting off with an array of five values. You can see that they're in no particular order right now. What we're going to do is we're going to run the sort method on it and we're not going to pass it any parameters. And what this is going to do is it's going to sort the array alphabetically. So you can see the order is different now. It's sorted alphabetically. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable. The variable has no value, therefore its value is undefined. Then we are going to push this new variable onto the back of the array. Let's take a look at that. And you can see there's a comma here where there isn't a comma there. This lets us know that there's an undefined element right here. And you can see that the array length is now 6. What I'm doing here is I'm running the sort method on it. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you that when an array has undefined elements, they're sorted to the end of the array. The next thing we're doing is we're writing the pop method on the array, and that's going to that's gonna let us remove uh, the undefined element from the back. So you can see we've removed it now, and the array length is back to 5. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to push these five numbers onto the back of the array. Let's take a look at that. So they're pushed onto the back and the array length is now 10. Now we're going to run the sort method on this again and we're going to output it. So here we can see that when we have an array which has numbers and words in it, how it's sorted alphabetically. So the first things in the array are going to be, well the first number is going to be 14. And the reason is, is because it starts with a 1. And 1 is smaller than 3, which is more than 4. So 1, 4, and the next biggest is 1, 8. And then 3, 4, and then the words come after the numbers. So what we're doing here is uh, we have this uh, new array, this this nums array right now, and we're going to run the sort method on it. Let's check that out. And you can see that when we have negative numbers and positive numbers, the negative numbers are sorted to the front, presumably because they start with a dash, and you can see there's a 1 here, 1, 2, and that's smaller than, well the 1 is smaller than the 5, and the 5 is smaller than 5, 5, and so on. Okay, but that's not how we want to sort our numbers. The way we want to sort them is we want to sort them in an ascending fashion. So this sort method, it was designed to take a comparison function as a parameter. So this function right here, you can find it all over the internet. And basically the function it takes two parameters, a and b, this could be x and y or anything and it's going to return a minus b so let's see how this function works sorting numbers needs a comparison function if the first number should appear to the left so we can look at these two to begin with if the first number should appear to the left so if this 112 should appear to the left this function should return a number less than zero okay so Let's think about that. 112 minus 35 is going to give a positive number, uh, which is which is this. So, if it should appear to the right, it should return a, a it should be greater than zero. Okay, so that's what's going to happen here. The function is going to return a number greater than zero. So this 112 is going to get sorted to the right, and this one's going to the left. They're going to switch places. Okay, and then you can do this for any of the numbers. So if if 112 is here now, 112 uh, minus, minus 55, and so on. It's going to run it on all of them. And uh, so just take a look at this. And that will let you know how they're sorted. So let's take a look at this in action. And you can see that they were sorted in an ascending manner now. And then this is uh, not sorted alphabetically anymore. It's numerically in an ascending fashion. Okay, so let's look at some more. So
So that means all we have to do is to sort them in a descending fashion is instead of a minus b, now we're going to return b minus a. And the result of that is now they're in a descending fashion. Let's look at a bit more stuff. Um, here we are, I just want to show you this. Uh, when So there's a math class in JavaScript and it's built in. And there is a random method of the math class. And let's just see what that gives us. So you can see that uh, what this what this method is going to return to us is a random number between 0 and 1. And I can refresh this and you can see how that number changes. And it doesn't matter to us how it's doing this. This is a language construct of JavaScript that we can use to give us a random number between 0 and 1. So let's see how that can be useful to us. So what we're doing here is we're running the sort method on the on the numbers array again and we're we're passing it a comparison function but this time there's something different in the in the body of the function so what we're doing here is we're returning 0 0.5 minus this random number okay and if you think about that when we do 0.5 minus a random number between um, between 0 and 1 half the time it's going to return us a negative number and half the time it's going to return us a positive number so this should make a lot of sense to you and let's take a look at that so here you can see here's our array and all of the elements uh, have been randomized and I can refresh this all day long and it's going to sort them in different ways.